classification of epstein usually uh, it is uh, classified simple and complex when it is when only only epstein's while complex it is associated with other anomalies but other precise classification include uh, carpentier classification and cellar major classification this is uh, carpentier classification which has uh, four components first component is the leaflet displaced leaflet either septal or the posterior leaflet so here the posterior leaflet is described here so the displacement is uh, mild moderate severe or it is extremely severe that is it is impregnated into the ventricular myocardium so this is the first component second component is the anterior leaflet that is a normal leaflet or a compensating leaflet so the anterior leaflet two things one is the attachment or morphology and mobility here it is normally attached to cardi and papillary muscle so normal attachment normal morphology normal mobility here uh, it is abnormal attachment because you can see the papillary muscle is shifted away attachment can be abnormal either in the ventricular or the abnormal cardi but mobility is normal here uh, there are additions with the ventricular myocardium and the mobility you can see it is buckling here mobility also is restricted here it is severely adhered to the ventricular myocardial wall third component is the atrialized portion of the ventricle which is the major prognostic criteria more the atrialized portion of ventricle more the risk of mortality with or without surgery here it is only a small portion of right atrium which is uh, uh, right ventricle which is atrialized and the function is preserved here there is a moderate portion but preserved function it is very large and mildly depressed function it is huge most of the uh, ventricle is atrialized the rv is only a smaller portion or even non existent only the infundibular portion here it is completely atrialized the fourth component very important component is the functional right ventricle which is uh, almost normal with the preserved function or reduced with preserved function reduced with depressed function or only the infundibulum is functional right ventricle with the depressed function so the four components only right sided components right atrium atrialized portion of the right atrium right ventricle function and size the septal or posterior tricuspid leaflet anterior tricuspid leaflet morphology attachment and mobility so based on this they are classified as a b c and d so it is obvious a are all mild type the prognosis is better d mortality is 100% the other classification system is the seller major scoring system there is a great ormon street scoring of neonates with the epstein's anomaly so the the calculated area the right atrial area the right atrium include the true right atrium and the uh, atrialized portion of the ventricle divided by the other three la lv and the functional right ventricle so the grade 1 is less than 0.5 grade 2.5 to 1 1 to 1.5 more than 1.5 so the right atrium and the atrialized portion of the right ventricle is one and half times more than the other three chambers which is a poor prognostic uh, criteria we will see a score called sas score which is a surgical scoring system which has the maximum score of 10 so this uh, a score more than 1 is included as one of the score the severity score which uh, increases the mortality to 90% after surgery so this is how by echo so it is only the area by echo we can calculate the area area of the right atrium which is both the right atrium and the atrialized portion of the right ventricle divided by the other three chambers here by mri we can calculate the volume but uh, the scoring system don't include the volume of the right atrium so this is the right atrial portion with the atrialized portion of the ventricle you can see it is not more than 0.5 so this is a milder or uh, grade 1 of uh, seller major scoring system of epstein's anomaly